To balance this equation, we have Mg3N2 plus H2O. That's magnesium nitride plus water. Let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation, and then we'll balance it. We have three magnesium atoms, two nitrogen, two water, and one oxygen. On the product side, we have the one Mg nitrogens. We have one of those hydrogens, three, and oxygen, one. Let's leave the hydrogens here until last. Why don't we just fix the magnesium, see what that does. So we have three here and one here. We'll put a coefficient of three in front of the MgO, one times three. That'll give us three magnesium atoms. We balance these, and then for oxygen, we have the one times the three. So now we have three oxygen atoms. So we'll leave the hydrogens and oxygens till last. That's usually a good strategy. Nitrogens, we have two here and one here put a coefficient of two in front of the ammonia. We have one times two. So that'll balance the nitrogen atoms three times two. That gives us six hydrogen atoms. Let's change the coefficient in front of the water and we'll balance the hydrogens first. I think that'll balance everything. We have two here and six here. So three times the two, that'll give us the six. So we balance the hydrogens, one oxygen times the three, that gives us three, it does balance the oxygens, and we're done. This is the balanced equation for magnesium nitride plus water. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.